Okay, um, I, I would like to talk about uh, how to use Maxima to uh, check your answers, especially when, you, when you're solving a uh, differential equation using Laplace transform. Alright, so uh, I would like to talk about uh, uh, section 4.2, number 5. And uh, if you did it correctly, uh, you should have uh, capital X sub S, uh, which should come out to be uh, 2 over um, S squared plus 1 times and uh, S squared plus 4 All right and that uh, should be so shift enter All right so this should be the uh, capital X of S and 2 over s squared plus 1 times s squared plus 4. Alright, so there's a way to, of course you can do it by hand, but uh, there's a way to um, find the partial fractions on maxima. Alright, so if you go to calculus, then uh, there's a partial fractions here, so you click on that, then you just put uh, capital X of s. And uh, the variable is, of course, uh, S, so I have to change that to S. Then click OK. All right, so you can see that the partial fractions are those. And uh, now I can see that this is going to be 2 thirds. Right, if you take the inverse Laplace transform, in 2 thirds sine of t minus, all right, this is a k, so k value is here, so it's going to be 1 third. So minus one third sine of two t, right? So let's see if we can uh, find it uh, using uh, uh, maxima. So calculus here, then inverse Laplace transform is right here, right? So we are taking the inverse inverse Laplace transform of x of s, right? And the old variable is s. Then we want to go back to t. So click that. All right, so you can see that uh, there's a two thirds sine of t minus one third of uh, sine of two t. Right, so that uh, that should be the solution to the uh, the initial value problem. All right, I hope uh, this was helpful.